multiple men work together to feed a very thick, heavy cable into a machine. The machine uses large rotating spiked toothed wheels to grip and pull the cable while simultaneously cutting through the outer layers. As the cable passes through, the black outer plastic sheath and a layer of silvery metal, likely aluminum or steel armor shielding, are peeled away from the inner conductors. The exposed inner conductors are visible as large, bright, reddish copper rods. Pieces of the stripped metal armor fall to the ground, and the plastic or cloth-like insulating materials are stripped away as the cable is pulled through. A second type of cable, which appears to have a corrugated or spiraled metal armor layer beneath the outer sheath, is fed into a different section of the machine, or the same machine with different rollers. Again, a team of workers manually pushes and pulls the heavy cable into the stripper. The machine cuts and peels the black outer layer, revealing a reddish, potentially corrugated inner plastic layer and the spiraled metal armor. The machine seems designed to cleanly separate the different layers of the cable, leaving the copper core for recovery.